AMD FSR 2.1 was added into Warzone 2 in the most recent Season 2 Reloaded update, and I've had a ton of questions in comments on recent videos, in my Discord, all asking, is it worth using? So today I'm going to try and answer that exact question by comparing FSR 2.1's FPS and visual fidelity against the other recommended alternatives we have in the game at the moment. First thing I wanted to do was actually get a description of the differences we expect to see between FSR 2.1 and FSR 1.0, which we've had in Warzone 2 since its release. The best and most simple description that I found is from this PC World article, which I'll have linked down in the description below. It gives a good comparison of the expected differences between FSR 1.0 and FSR 2.0. Oh, not 2.1, I know, but it's going to be similar enough. First key point here is that FSR 1.0 performs well at higher 1440p and 4K resolutions, but it's not as good in terms of visual fidelity at the lower resolutions like 1080p. This probably explains a lot of the comments I got on my previous video comparing all of the upscaling methods in Warzone 2, in which I said that FSR 1.0 was the best of the bunch. A lot of those comments read that the visual fidelity wasn't as good as I was saying it was, and potentially a bunch of you guys are running 1080p monitors whereas I've got a 1440p monitor. This article points out very clearly that FSR 2.0 improves on that and it offers better image quality across all resolutions. It then goes to say that FSR 1.0 can still hold some frame rate advantages, especially on older hardware versus the more demanding FSR 2 tech. The main thing to take away from this article before we head into the testing is that FSR 2.0 and therefore FSR 2.1's main emphasis is on image quality visual fidelity, sharpness. It's not so much about just getting the highest frame rate possible, which is what FSR 1.0's focus is, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we still see some really good frame rate boosts from using FSR 2.1 over our standard native resolution. Today's video is brought to you guys by Manscaped, the premium brand for men's grooming and hygiene across the globe. Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations to tackle the big three odor zones on the body. You guys can guess what they are. They've also hooked me up with a bunch of stuff from their all-in-one Perfect Package 4.0. The main highlight is the Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer. This is Manscaped's fourth generation electric trimmer with built-in skin-safe technology. This reduces the nicks and cuts on those real sensitive parts of the body. It's also cordless and waterproof, so you can use it in the shower for easy cleanup. It's got little LED lights on the front to let you know how much of the 90 minute full charge you've still got left, and also comes with a wireless charging dock. And it's also great for travel. Simply by tapping the button three times, you enable the travel lock feature, meaning that this won't go off by accident in your bag. Also included in the kit are two products I never knew I needed until now. We've got the Crop Reserver Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Toner. Simply apply the Crop Reserver after your shower for all day body odor protection, and then the Crop Reviver is a convenient spray with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh the area whenever you need it. Manscaped didn't fall short of thinking of their Magic Matte Shaving Mat. It's got a ton of funny content on it and some hair designs if you're feeling, well, ballsy. For a limited time, you can get all all of this plus two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. You do not want to miss out, guys, so head over to manscaped.com using my link in the description below for 20% off, international free shipping, plus those two free gifts, all using my code 4 eyes at checkout. Within Warzone 2's graphic settings, we can see AMD FSR 2.1 has a maximum FSR preset of quality. What this means is that the maximum quality we can get out of this is by rendering the game at 66% of the native resolution. We're going to be comparing that quality preset of FSR 2.1 to the ultra quality preset that we get by running FSR 1.0. Keep in mind, the ultra quality preset actually renders the game at a slightly higher resolution than the quality preset. It actually renders it at 78% rather than 66% of the native resolution. So in theory, you'd think that should give you a better, more native looking result. And obviously as a base benchmark, we're going to be comparing both of those FSR options to upscaling and sharpening simply turned off. So for actually benchmarking our FPS and performance in Warzone 2, I'm not going to be using the in-game benchmarking tool like I have in the past. Main reason is it is not truly representative of Warzone 2's performance. It can give some values which really don't line up. Instead, I've used an actual benchmarking tool, CapFrameX, to run all of our FPS tests today. To get some pretty broad results, I actually did the benchmarking in two different scenarios inside of Almazra. One, where the GPU was being pushed a lot harder, which was inside of Almazra. Masra City, and one where the GPU was being pushed less hard, which was just simply running through the desert. Each benchmark lasted for 10 seconds, and I repeated the same route on each run, just changing which upscaling setting I was using each time. So in the desert scenario, with very little strain on the GPU as a whole, you can see that there's actually not too much to be gained from using upscaling. 
From going from off to 1.0, we gained about just over one FPS on average. And then going up once again to 2.1, we gain another one FPS. So overall a two FPS delta from off up to 2.1. Technically it is a two FPS boost still, you know, we can't ignore that. And also 2.1, is performing better than 1.0, which is, I guess, slightly unexpected when we looked at that article earlier. Now, let's look at the results we got from running through Almazra City, a much more strenuous area on the GPU due to it being very dense, full of a lot of buildings. You can see some much more defined results. Straight away, switching from off to FSR 1.0, we gain a nice 5 FPS or so, which might not seem like a lot, but I've got a really powerful system, a 3090 in a really good system with a really good CPU. If you guys are in a much more GPU bound system, a slightly older system running a, you know, older 30 series or a 20 series or even earlier, you're going to see even better results than my 5 FPS. So this is a really good thing to see. However, once again, going from 1.0 to 2.1, we are actually seeing a slight improvement in FPS, actually going up now by another 1.5 FPS. That could be around 2 FPS uh, if we ran this benchmark quite a few times. So once again, doesn't look like a big difference, but from the article we read earlier, 2.1 isn't even about FPS. It's all about visual fidelity, which we're going to take a look at now. As a side note, guys, if you do enjoy this kind of content and want to support me moving forward, then please consider subscribing down below with the notification bell turned on. I'm trying to push for full-time content creation and 100,000 subscribers this year, and it only takes one click, so you'd be really helping me out. So we've now jumped into an actual game on our Masra to begin comparing the visual fidelity of the three different settings that we've looked at today, off 1.0 and 2.1. Keep in mind, this testing is just going to be an eye test. It's going to be something that you guys can follow along with. You can just see the differences and judge for yourselves. It's not going to be any sort of real scientific pixel level testing or anything like that. So we're starting with our upscaling off and you can see how the game looks here just out of the box with nothing turned on. You do get some jagged edges on some of these objects like this ladder here and these bars on these windows. You can't really do anything about that even when I'm running at 1440p, but this is essentially our baseline before we start turning on those upscaling settings. Let's now turn our upscaling to FSR 1.0 with the ultra quality preset, apply that and have a look at the main differences we have here. The main things I mentioned in my previous video that were so good about 1.0 uh, in the initial iteration of Warzone is that we don't get any ghosting from motion, which you get a lot of when you use DLSS. It's the reason why I recommend you don't use DLSS. And also the game looks still pretty sharp overall. It doesn't really look obvious that we've turned down the resolution and lost a lot of that pixel density. However, the main big difference is going to be the cleanliness of the edges of objects. And that's where you can see that the resolution has dropped. That ladder here, as well as the edges of the buildings, the edges of the windows, the, the railings over here, they all have this shimmering effect to them now. And you can notice this all around the map. You can notice it slightly on the foliage and it can be a little off-putting, which is probably the main reason why most people stick with upscaling off rather than trying out 1.0. So now what about FSR 2.1? How does the visual fidelity of this match up to everything we've looked at so far? Keep in mind, the article we read earlier stated that the focus of FSR 2.0 and therefore FSR 2.1 is visual fidelity at the forefront. So we'll turn this on, put it to the quality preset, apply, and here we go. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look for you guys after I've encoded a video and uploaded it to YouTube that you're watching right now, but this looks incredible. Seriously, this actually has blown me away every time I've turned it on and ran it in game. The sharpening that seems to be happening when you enable FSR 2.1 actually makes the image clearer and even sharper in certain cases than running no upscaling whatsoever. So just running normal native resolution. There's also no motion blur happening as we move around. So that weird bug that seems to happen with DLSS in this game is non-existent. Uh, and, and in terms of aliasing or the jagged edges, these tiny little railings here, they have some of the weird aliasing to them, but that's probably going to happen anyway, no matter what settings you're running. Pointing out like the edges of the objects, like the building here and this ladder, there's no jaggedness. There's no shimmering. So the end results here are truly 
truly awesome. We are gaining small amounts of FPS, yes. Well, at least on my system. I, I reckon you guys will get more of a performance boost if you're on a slightly older system without so much beefy gear in it than mine. But we're also getting an image in terms of visual fidelity that is matching, if not beating, just having our upscaling off. So to answer our main question here of is AMD FSR 2.1 worth using in Warzone 2 right now? Well, it's a resounding yes from all the testing I've done. It's a no-brainer. Now, if you want to take the visual fidelity of FSR 2.1 to the next level, you need to go and watch this video next, where I show you guys how to enable sharpening from within the NVIDIA control panel that leads to no FPS loss whatsoever and the best image you've ever seen in Warzone 2.